My lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In this episode, I'm going to continue a project that I've started off camera. And as you can maybe work out from this, it's a subway system for Calgary. I've got as far as Calgary, Northeast, Northwest and Southeast Calgary. As we can see, there's a station there. You can just about make it out with the shadow and obviously the tracks linking them all together. The idea here, of course, is that this subway should alleviate some of the traffic congestion issues that we're having in Calgary, as it's now grown into a pretty major city. So now we're going to continue with this, and we're going to start off by putting one in southwest Calgary, which will be the final station on the loop, and then just connecting the tracks in from southeast to southwest, and then through to Calgary, and then we have a completed circuit around the suburbs of Calgary, and we could have a clockwise counterclockwise loop for our subway system and that should help as i said alleviate some of our traffic concerns so what we need to do now is just find an ideal place to put this station now ideally we'd like to have it somewhere where we've got decent transportation links now i'm thinking if we have it somewhere like this then we're quite close to three nearby bus stops which should encourage a lot of usage uh, in and around the city itself so we're going to need an access point to access the subway which is provided by another mod so i'm just going to delete some of these houses here and in the road tool street constructions here's our underground or underpass entry point and if we put that nearby to the subway station it should yes it should as you see there it does link the two together just click the green tick and then that is the access point for the underground station. As we can see, they're both now linked together. And you can see the, the paths that the people will take as they walk down and gain access. So let's continue on then with the track laying. This can be very, very difficult because obviously the modder is had to work within the, uh, the confines of the game and the game mechanics. And... Obviously, the game uh, developers did not have subways in mind, or at least I don't think they did. And it can make it very difficult to lay these tracks in without it wanting to turn it into an overground rail system, which is obviously the, the bread and butter of this game. Now, you see, I have started the, uh, the underground tracks coming from central Calgary, but... I've put them in completely the wrong place, so I'm going to have to go through and delete them, taking care not to delete the houses and the roads above ground, which is easier said than done, although we're making a fairly good fist of it so far. I think if we take the underground rail back to there, where's our station? Here we go. That should give us a straight, pretty decent connection from here, like so. Yes, that's fine. And then from the other track, we'll do the same once again. Where are you? There you are. And you want to come... Oh, I thought we'd frozen. Oh, God. Very, very laggy map now, which is unfortunate. I always panic it's going to crash when it does that, but so far, so good. Well, as we can see, this is not wanting to, uh, to connect in smoothly. And it keeps wanting to go above ground and putting level crossings, which is the last thing we need for this. Let's see if we can get this connecting nicely. One building will be removed. Okay, so we're coming above ground temporarily, which is... We don't really want to be doing that. So what we'll do instead is if we can stretch this out manually and have it... Okay, even at the bottom or the maximum gradient drop, it still is going to emerge above ground temporarily. So, I wonder if there's anything we can do about that. Hmm. That's just going to look ridiculous. But I think it's what we're going to have to do. Obviously, we are, as I said, limited by what the mod is capable of. As we can see, we don't have a tunnel entrance here, so I'm going to have to work on that. Oh, God, that just looks... I tell you what, 
we have to delete this entire block here because we have to do some train modification on this one because I, I, I'm, I can't live with that. It looks disgusting, frankly. So what we'll do is if we just delete the tracks back just a fraction and then go to our terrain modification tool, flatten tool, get that strength cranked up and then raise the terrain here. That should hopefully be enough to prevent it wanting to emerge over ground for that this last little bit here. Get rid of that building as well. And then we can flatten this whole area off. Okay, that's as good as we're going to get it. Now let's see what happens when we connect these two. And hopefully it should. That's better. Yep, that works for me. And I think now we should be able to just smooth off what we've just messed up there. Make it look a little bit more natural. And it also provides them a decent building space to rebuild all those houses that we've just had to demolish. So yes, there we go. So all we've got to do now is link from southwest Calgary into southeast Calgary. As we, as I pointed out briefly, here's the station for southeast Calgary. So we're going to have to come straight out. Obviously, at this point, we are going to have to come over ground so we can bridge over the river, which is absolutely fine. We've had to do with it. I had to do that off camera previously anyway, so I'm used to that. However, the terrain here, the, the elevation, looks like it's not going to play nicely. Can we drop it down any? Not really. Oh, I had it then, briefly. There we go. And if we do the same here, there we go. And now we should be able to come out with a bridge. Keep it level. Bridge pillar collision. Okay, let's just let the uh, track do what it wants to do naturally. There we go. So it's a very low bridge, which is obviously then blocked out any future shipping that we may have wanted to take care of. Is there any way to get that to work? It doesn't... Oh, yeah, we can keep it straight there. It's just as it... Okay, there we go. That's better. That will work. And then we want to do the same over here. Again, we'll have the iron... No, we'll have the iron bridge, please. There we go. That's better. And then over to there. And then from here, we should be able to tunnel in. These roads aren't exactly doing much, so we can safely get rid of those without disrupting the town planning too much. I can get rid of all of that. That way, if we need uh, to adjust the terrain to ensure we get a decent tunnel, then we can do so relatively safely. Just stay level for now, and let's give you a, a nice modern tunnel entrance there. Likewise, you... Again, nice modern tunnel entrance there. We could adjust the train around those entrances later. That's no problem. And where is our station? We're up there. So what we want to do from here is we can head straight for now. And then, in fact, should we bring them parallel underground? It's always a little odd when you bring tracks together in a tunnel. Or at least it looks odd in the cab view, but that's fine. And then we'll see, can we get a direct connection in without too much hassle? Yes, we can. Hopefully this one will play nice as well. So far, so good. And then just link that up to there. And there we have it, folks. We have a completed underground. We've also unlocked some Canadian Pacific diesel engines. Anything else? A, uh, a boxcar as well. Well, that's all fine and dandy. What we can do now, we can turn our attention to the actual subway lines that we've got set up so far that I set up off camera. We have two, as we can see, Subway Calgary and Subway Northwest Calgary. If we just reset the filters there to the only the ones we can uh, see in our field of view. The lag is starting to concern me so much, it's... I'm always panicking it's going to crash. So far, so good. So yes, yeah, Subway Calgary. As we can see, this is a yellow line here. And we start in 
Calgary Central, then we head out to Northeast Calgary Transfer. Obviously, these can be renamed at some point, probably off camera. And then we go into Southeast Calgary, at which point we then head back out the opposite direction, as we can see, back to Northeast Calgary and loop back around to Calgary Central. Obviously, we want to change that because we want to have it just going in one direction around on one line and a counterclockwise direction on the other line. So what we'll do is after Northeast Calgary, sorry, after Southeast Calgary Central, we can remove that station and instead now send it through to Southwest Calgary. There we go. And then that should then automatically, yes, it has, you can see the line here, that'll connect back in to Central Calgary. And that's working tickety-boo all fine. Now, we're going to need some signals on the lines we've just constructed, so we can take care of that in a moment. In fact, we'll do it now before we forget. So we want signals, one-way signals, yes. So our trains are heading this way, I believe. So we'll just put a series of signals along the way here, just to create some blocks for the subway line to try and prevent the trains bunching up too much and then from here on out we're doing the same thing following all the way through to central calgary's subway station there it is and that is our first loop line there's also a connection from here out to northeast so northwest calgary here's a subway station here we can see the entrance just here on this corner. All of the entrances, I've tried to place them in a position where they've got good access to onward transport links. So we've got two bus stops here and we've also got the train station not too far away. Likewise, if we hop over here, here's our underground. Our access point is somewhere hidden. There it is. Look over here. And again, if we look, we've got one, two, three, four... Five, six, we've got, yeah, several bus or tram connections very close by for onward travel. Southeast Calgary, where's our station here? Again, surrounded by plenty of bus stops. Over in Southwest Calgary, we have a few, but if we look at Southwest Calgary overall, and we'll call this road here the divide between Calgary and Southwest Calgary. The transport system for our Southwest Calgary needs reworking anyway. So when we do rework that, we'll make sure that we have a nexus or a hub close to this access point here. And then finally, over in Calgary, we've done the same thing. Here's our station. We've got our central terminus here. And nearby, we've got quite a few bus stops. Calgary as well could do with its metro system being expanded as well. So we'll do that at some point. So now that we've got the one loop put in place, we can now put in a counterclockwise loop. So we'll create a new line. This will be Subway Calgary 02. And now we can just purchase our trains. I have set up dedicated train depots for the subways. And they are somewhere. <laughs> I can't remember where I put them. Okay, so there's a track there. If we just open the track tool, then come, oh, that's better. Is this, that must be the depot there. So let's go ahead, buy ourselves some, we're using the uh, rail buses for these. I think that's what I've been using. That's what I'm using now anyway. And I'm going to go for eight. Eight of those. Colour them blue. And let's see if they can actually access the line. Yes, they can. And there we go. So away they come, and that is our subway system for Calgary up and running and operational. We'll put some signals along here so we can shunt all the trains out as quickly as possible. Yep, that's fine. That's all good. Didn't want to pause it. So yes, obviously the uh, the aim with the uh, with the subway system is to tend to some of the traffic issues. Holy sugar lumps. 
See what I mean? That's traffic right there, and it's holding up our freight wagons. Now, I think the, the main issue is this bottleneck here. So we're gonna have to work with this anyway. So let's pause it because everybody's gonna be massively upset about this. And in fact, we'll put a new bridge over here as well. We've unlocked better bridges, so we may as well use them. Clear ourselves a nice, decent space here to work with. We're gonna have to cross over the train line. There's no way to avoid that. Didn't future-proof that very well at all. Uh, yes, electric, yes, whatever. But I think now we should. Please stay straight. Okay, we're struggling with the uh, the level crossing there. That's the issue here. Is there anywhere we can put it in? I mean, we could just move the junction to, say, there. Would that work? No. Okay, so is it the terrain? Let's have a look. No, it looks... Ah, okay, I see what it is. It's the uh, the fence that I put in for decoration. I think that might be what's causing the issue with the junction there. So let's just delete some of this fencing back. It's only decorative anyway. It's not doing... It's not actually affecting anything, apart from our ability to put in a junction. Let's see. And if we take you out further, keep you straight that's better where where are we headed to where's that there we go we're headed that way so we'll keep so we'll go straight to there change the bridge style to the iron bridge and build and then we'll have a gently sweeping bridge over the river here to there in fact I'm going to take that back as well and do a direct connection into the uh, the junction there like that and that looks a lot better so yes take that accept that perfect we've got a little hump in the road there on the bridge thanks to level crossing but that's okay for now we're going to get rid of these traffic lights and see how the traffic flow does i have started putting some traffic lights back in because I find in some, some limited circumstances they can be quite useful. But we'll see now what effect this is going to have on our traffic flow. Our main problem here is the level crossing, I think. Uh, could we just take it down and up that way, perhaps? That might be the better option. That'll keep things flowing a lot more smoothly. Well, it should do, because we're not having to stop every couple of minutes for the passing trains. Although these signals do help marshal some of the traffic a little. Because while he's waiting there, the, the, uh, the road vehicles are free to pass through and pass on by. But hopefully that's going to have an effect on some of this bottleneck here. Let's just take a moment to check the first subway line that was constructed and see how, how it's doing. Where, no, that's what we want with the line. Statistics. Only the ones we can see. Get in nice and close to hide everything else. Subway Calgary. So we're not making any money, but we're transporting a fair few passengers, as we can see. I think the problem is I've got too many rail buses on this. So let's manage some of these vehicles. We'll sell two of them. We'll pick two at random. I'm not really interested in which two. So eight and I think the other one also had eight as well. So that should now help things flow through a lot, lot smoother. Although we seem to be backlogged here as we can see. I guess it's just while they're getting in and out of the station for the first time here at Calgary Central. So there we go. There's a, uh, a subway system for Calgary. I, if you have an aiming suggestion for the subway system, please let me know. Obviously, these uh, tunnel entrances need addressing because they look ridiculous. But I can do that off camera to save the pain and the heartache of trying to do it on camera. And that's what I'll do between this episode and our next one. Now, it's been quite a short episode today, or at least in terms of productivity. As there, so I do apologise for that. However, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's something a bit different. It was a 
A bit frustrating, mainly because I'm an idiot and forgot to link my tracks together correctly, which caused all sorts of issues as we saw there, trying to set up the line, but we got there in the end. I'm just going to, before we go actually, just have a look at this, because there's no reason we can't bring our trains in a little bit further than they currently are. Because we are sat quite a way back at the minute, which is a little odd. There we go. So what we'll do, I think we'll actually take a ride on one of the subway trains. We'll pick on this one just here. What we'll do as well, we'll pause the date progression while we're having the train ride, just so nothing gets unlocked in the background without our knowledge. We'll hop on board this rather battered looking subway train just here and i think if we sit on top there we go that's a decent view we're not going to see much because most of it's going to be underground but there are times when we do emerge overground so all that means to me to say as always is thank you very much for your support and your views and any feedback comments suggestions and ideas that keep coming my way they're greatly appreciated and of course, as always, take good care of yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. It's Tata for now.